There's my three silly chickens. Look at that one. She's so gorgeous. Here, chick, 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 chick. Here, chick, chick. Today we're going to do an update on the soap nut in a pot. The one three weeks ago, four weeks ago. I did a video on this that I uprooted from where it was and put it in this regular pot here. Which actually, there's two pots I just noticed. So I'm going to take the bottom, this bottom pot, pot out and compost in that one and then stick this one on top. That's what I'm going to do because I do feel bad that this little tree is going to be living here for a while. And this is grows into a very, very large tree. But remember, large trees don't have to be large. We can prune them to whatever size we want. I'm not going to leave it three feet. I might leave this, let this one go up to five feet maybe. It got all, new, all the leaves fell off when I repotted it, but it got new leaves. All these are new, new, all new leaves. It got all new leaves. All this here is new. This is new. All this, it got all this new. And then it had this other little branch, which also had got new, new leaves. All these are new okay it was like this if you will remember the other video it didn't have all these little friends I just put them in here so I wouldn't be all alone there's uh, this is another soap nut tree that I have here that's already growing which was also a brood it's got brand new tiny leaves there you can see them I just put it there so he wouldn't be all alone this was a basil is a basil some purslane a little moringa and a little tomato plant right there and a little cactus so this one is a tree that will grow big will need a lot of food but this is for later this tree is for later it's not for now but then if we would plant all this close to it we have food for now you have here you have basil that you can take from it right now you have cactus this will be ready like in maybe three days you can eat this with this and with some purslane and with some moringa and you will have so many vitamins in that combination like you can go the whole day on just that food purslane is so good for you it's like eating fish moringa is like eating all kinds of vegetables and fruits the cactus is considered a superfood and your basil you can use it to make a drink or you can add it to your cactus moringa and purslane so this is for later but these are for now this is also for later this is another soap in a tree i just put it here so this tree wouldn't be by itself wouldn't be so alone and look at it it bloomed again i don't know it settled in really well i'm surprised I am surprised it's got all new leaves and I'm still going to put everything back so they can all be together and I'm going to take off that bottom pot here so I can be feeding it in there in there throw the scraps grass clippings uh, pieces of wood in this bottom pot and put this in the top that way you don't have any um, rodents trying to get at it try and put just like vegetable scraps in garden garden um, leaves um, little sticks some soil throw some soil in there you'll have somebody who doesn't have room for a big garden can start with this you can have a lot of food in one little pot and also plan for the future this is soap for your future you're never gonna have to buy soap again as soon as this starts giving off its pods some people say it will give its pots its pods off at uh, eight nine years i have a lot of soap nut trees and some of them at three years they're already wanting to give pods they have pods they have your soap nuts so don't forget to just just do what you need to do it doesn't matter just try things try things and uh, if you don't have a lot of room uh, or if you just have a tiny little space, what is this, like one foot across? 
you can have a lot of food. There's still space here to put something else. There's space here to put something else. Space there. There's space for a lot of more uh, things that you may want to plant. And then when this tree gets big, you can take you, you can start taking all this out and putting some other things in there. So have faith. Have faith. Look at this. Look at this. So beautiful. This tree. And. Try some, try something, try something every day. Purslane, I can cut this in little pieces and replant some more over here, over here, and it's just considered a a weed. <laughs> so a mosquito got me. So um, Moringa will grow tall. We will not leave it here forever. But you can be cutting and cutting. And it will always keep growing. Just taking leaves from here. Use the leaves. And then um, you can cut it. Cut it. Have more leaves. Cut it. Have more leaves. You can do that. You can do that with a purslane. Divide it and cut it. Basil. When it gets bigger, cut it here. It will keep growing. Cut the seeds off if it gives seeds off too soon. And your tomato, probably just give up some tomatoes and then you're done. So just throw the whole plant in this second bucket and compost it and put something else in there. Okay. So you can always do something. Start very, start little, start tiny. Start tiny with little things for now, things for the future. Things for now and things for the future. Okay, I just wanted to show you this little tree. It's been four weeks and it's already growing again it didn't quit so so never give up don't give up and uh i'll see you on the next video and uh oh you'll catch a glimpse of this again for sure so thank you so much and don't forget this is your soap nut tree starting another one here right here there you can see the little branches right here so that's going to be, you know, that's going to be doing really good. All right. Thank you. And uh, good luck.